It is a local astronomical project, five years in the making. Fox 43's Ryan Yee has more in the York Astronomical Society's new radio telescope that's coming this year and how they hope it will inspire the next generation of space enthusiasts. As I come over towards this tree, it's going to go full scale. The York County Astronomical Society has no shortage of cool tech, and they will soon have another big addition. This is something unique. Amateur astronomy clubs, there are very few who would have a, an instrument of this caliber to be able to do this kind of outreach. A new radio telescope that will be housed at the York County Astronomical Observatory in John Rudy Park is set to be completed by the end of the year. It aims to open up even more possibilities for people wanting to learn about astronomy. This is to teach people what radio astronomy is about, what the science is about, and to offer them an instrument that they can learn about that science. The Astronomical Society teamed up with several York College programs and other community groups to start the project back in 2018. With no shortage of challenges along the way, including the COVID-19 pandemic, the founding president of the York County Astronomical Society says it took an entire community community and a lot of resilience to get to this point. I think I can wrap that up in one word, it's gratitude. I mean, it's just, I, I'm just overwhelmed by, by the, all the people who have contributed, especially the hard work the students have put into this. Ultimately, the Astronomical Society hopes the new tech will inspire a passion for astronomy in the next generation of space enthusiasts. The ultimate thing for me would be to develop that passion. And the same passion that not just that I have, that many of us have, whether it's radio or optical, that you, ins you inspire them to use something that we have as a tool to make that passion happen. The York County Astronomical Society is aiming to have the new radio telescope up and running by the end of the year with it opening to the public by the summer of 2024. Ryan Yee, Fox 43 News.